The punter Logan Cook set to start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. You playing? On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a play fake. Carr. He'll look downfield for Waller. He right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Well, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, this guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Now a first down run is sniffed out from the start as he'll drop him for a loss of four. Play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. And able to find Kirk complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Etienne will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through a one-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. On first and 10, here's Carr. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Throwing on first down is Carr. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Throwing again on second and ten. Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. throw on third and one throw left side complete that's Jenkins and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 they only needed one yard on third down they get 10 instead by going to the air so in Jacksonville territory now here's a first and 10 at the 42 yard line play action now it's Carr the football and the Jags grab it there he goes left side and he brings this one back a fumble return for a Jacksonville score so the defense forces the fumble they get the score and a guy on defense becoming offensive there Charles and you know they love that any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands to try and score himself in this case that's exactly what happened he'll be singing in the shower post game Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Car now on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Now ETN to start the drive. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes. Or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. First and ten, it's ETN. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. The slot man in motion right. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Now Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And they'll run with ETN. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown. Jacksonville. Travis Etienne with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars take a three touchdown lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. 
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Throwing his car on third down. And it's complete to Adams. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. On play action, now Carr. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here comes Jacobs. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Throw for it on fourth down. Dancing to his left. Able to find Waller. That, and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Jags grab it. And the aggressive play call simply does not work out. You're on your own side of the field here. Punt it, right? Yeah, I would agree with that. There's a time for analytics and a time for being aggressive, but not with this field position. There's also a time for good old football 101 sets. <laughs> yeah. Punt it away. Let your defense take over with better field position. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Lawrence. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, 61 yards. And the Jags continue to pull away here in this first half. It's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And, CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. But this one might be over by halftime. And since you've already put your job on the line by actually saying it, 
I will co-sign and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. He'll buy some time right. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they broke it up. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. To throw once more on second and 10. Lawrence, this is caught. It's Kirk. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Jaguars are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Here's Lawrence to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. It's a throw again is Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Evan Ingram in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. 
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. possession of the lead and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. And certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room. 